Oh. Yeah, boy. again today with another new jeans reaction new jeans are finally here with the full ep and i am so excited we've been getting little releases here and there we've been getting content here and there but the full thing is finally here on spotify and i'm so excited we've got a whole bunch of new mvs i'm going to be reacting to the call with you mv side a i'm also going to be checking out side b which includes get up the track get up and then I'm going to be checking out the ETA MV. And then lastly, I'll be listening to ASAP. Now, I'm aware that they'll be dropping an MV for ASAP next week. However, I don't want to wait until next week to hear the song. So today, I'm just going to listen to the audio. And then next week when the MV drops, I will do the MV as well. I'm super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer, I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. I'm wearing purse on nails today. She's so satisfying. Okay, quick disclaimer before we start, please do not expect like some sort of MV video analysis. I'm not really going to be commenting on the music videos. If I see something I like, I'll say it, but please don't accept, uh, expect me to be commenting on the storyline or anything like that. I'm, Jesus Christ, I'm not going to be fully concentrating on the MVs. I'm going to be concentrating on the songs themselves. Obviously, I'll be watching the MVs, so I'll be seeing things. I'll have the visuals to, you know, to accompany the audio but i'm not going to be concentrating on everything that's going on in the mvs if you're looking for a reactor who's going to be commenting on the mvs and stuff like that there are plenty out there if you want to just chill vibe with me like enjoy the music with me enjoy the songs with me have a bit of fun and stick around please don't expect some like in-depth analysis of the mvs or the lyrics as you know the lyrics won't be on but yeah let's go we're starting off with cool with you official mv side a Let's go. So far, all the songs have been very um, cohesive, so I'm wondering if they're going to stick with that. That's a little bit scary. So no one can see her. It's a wee bit loud. What is she, forgotten? Me, I'm not going to be concentrating on the MV. It's also me. What's going on? Oh. Why is she all literally in all black? It's darkness. raining now and she knew it was going to rain before it started raining oh. Ooh, it sounds like a deep house organ Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, there's chords. Ooh. is it going to be house or garage again <laughs> ah, the break in the beat Mm. 
What is she? She can see her. She needs to stop coming with these raps. She needs to stop. Ooh, the layer in the What is she? She's dead. Is he gonna die? Is she gonna die? Is he gonna die? I mean, she like dead. What's going on? Oh, she's not there. A ghost. Black. We're gonna let it go straight into side B and then I'll comment on them both after rather than pausing talking about it and then going into that again. Ah dum 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 boom. I love that. Dum, bum, 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 bum. Get up or 
confused. Why is it only playing in one ear? Yeah, she slaps. Well, that was absolutely incredible. Let me talk about the song first because I was very much intrigued by the MV and I did enjoy it. Funny, since I gave like this game at the start, like I'm not gonna be concentrating. The, the storyline and the MV was so good, it was almost impossible to fully ignore. Do you know what I mean? So, first of all, the song itself, I loved it. It started off, I heard that little, I call it a deep house organ. I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's like a house organ, that doom, doom, doom. It's a sound I really associate with a lot of deep house. Uh, it's like groups like, groups? Well, do duos, like Disclosure. Do you know what I mean? That doom, doom, doom. So I was like, they're getting house. But no, it was house. The a child that came from house, it was garage, uh, but it was like chill garage, almost a little bit more sort of two step. It had that vibe. It wasn't. It was chill. It was like a chill song. I loved the melodies all throughout every single New Jean song. The melodies are always ten out of ten. The ad libs are always ten out of ten. I loved. At some point, was it the was it during the second pre chorus or the first pre chorus? I can't. I think it might have been the second pre chorus. I think when Danielle comes in and there's like, I don't know if her vocals have been layered with another member or if it's her vocals layered, her own vocals layered. Um, but that bit sounded so good. The synths, the pads, that little chord sequence was so damn good. I loved how the garage beat, at some point the beat, I think it was in the first verse, the beat cut out and then it came back in again and also the beat gradually progressed as the song went on it like picked up different sort of percussion sounds instruments as it went on um absolutely fantastic really nice harmonies i'm loving i'm loving how they're slowly and naturally incorporating rap verses melodic rapping i'd say um within their songs it's not something that was forced from the very beginning and that's something i complain about a lot in k-pop i feel like rap verses are just forced in k-pop is that ice cream truck or is that a delivery is that ice cream truck or delivery can you hear that fucking ice cream truck fuck off I'm trying to recall new jeans reactions here what was i saying oh i can't even remember shoot shoot yeah i feel like rap verses are so forced in like all k-pop songs all the time from the beginning like has to be rappers there has to be rap verses and i like how they're gradually sort of bringing in rap verses a little bit and it just sounds so natural and good it doesn't sound forced it doesn't sound weird it doesn't sound cringy which can happen sometimes sometimes um so i love that i just love the whole thing um i also loved was it get up the second track that came in at the end there that sounded so good again really nice melodies it sounded a little bit more chill a little bit more r&b there was this little descending chord moment that sounded really really good i loved it it was kind of like alternative r&b vibes i'd say now the mv was very 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 good i loved it i was gripped i was intrigued from the very very beginning the visuals were stunning i love how it was almost like a movie or a TV show, it was something almost separate from New Jeans. New Jeans played a role in it because they were there. However, it felt like they were observers. They were obviously observers within the MV, within their roles, right? They were just observing what was going on. However, I felt like they were just observing the story with us. Do you know what I mean? I feel like they weren't really part of what was whatever was happening within the, the story. Like, do you know what I mean? I really, really liked that. It was almost separate from New Jeans. And that song was just the soundtrack to a movie. Do you know what I mean? I really, really liked that aspect. 
a lot. It was very, very well done. Very, very cool. Uh, also, I recognised that actress. I recognised that actress. And I was very intrigued by what, everything that was going on. It was very cool. All of you guys that theorise, you better get commenting. I need to hear your theories and stuff like that. Let's get on to the next MV. Okay, let's go. We now have fluff everywhere. Oh, I need to hoover these floors. I hoovered them on Sunday. It's her turn next. Anyway, Eugene's ETA official MV. Let's go. Also, the album's been very cohesive so far. What is itchy in my face? I cannot believe you. Isn't that your boyfriend? Is this coming straight off of um Oh No it's not Hey we gotta go to the Oh boop 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 very loud I hate Nah this might be my favourite one Hi Key it's about to be my favorite one. I love that cross. I love that. The back with the rap. Is that Fender Rose is that? This is my favorite one. Out of every song that has dropped for this EP, this is my favorite one. Every the melody. Yeah! ETA. So catchy. What's your ETA? What's your ETA? Oh, Danielle! She's the Popo. She looks, oh, they all look great as the Popo 5 Volt. See, it sounds like Jersey, but also at parts it sounds like Miami Bass. That's when the rose. What's your ETA? What's your ETA? What's your Was the song actually that short? Or did they cut it short for the MV? Or was that just... Yeah. Yeah. That was my favourite one from the project thus far. We've got one more left. We've got ASAP left. But I think so far, out of all the songs of this EP, I feel like that one is probably my favourite. There was just something about it that was a little bit different. I feel like it was still cohesive. This is such a cohesive EP, man. I felt like it was still cohesive because I felt like I heard that, you know, that Jersey Baltimore type footwork type beat in there again. But also, at some point, it was also giving me Miami bass as well. I did hear like a sample in there that was giving me Miami bass a bit, but I couldn't quite fully work it out. But since they're going with the Jersey sound in general, 
that footwork sound in general for this project. I'm gonna say it definitely did lean more towards that a little bit more, but um, it was so good. The Fender Rhodes, did you hear the Fender Rhodes? That brass, that brass, the way that brass came in in the beginning, cheers! Melodies again, 10 out of 10. Um, I love how this one was a little bit more upbeat, had a little bit more of a fun tempo, kind of reminded me of High Boy a little bit in, in a sense where I feel like the majority of um, New Jeans' songs are a lot more on the chill type of level. It's not really a song that you're going to get up and just be like, yeah! Or well, to be fair, I do do that. But it's not that type of song you get up and you're like, yeah! In general, other than the last time I felt that was High Boy. Even though that was chill, it's just literally it just does make you want to get a little bit hype right and i feel like this is the first track i've heard so far that literally makes me want to just get up and just start punching people or something it just had that vibe to it do you know what i mean i loved it again subtle rap verse blended in for the second verse i'm loving how they're implementing these rap verses uh 10 out of 10 fantastic let's go on to asap Okay, let's go. Last but not least, the track ASAP. I'll be doing the MV when it drops next week. Let's go. <clears throat> I love how they still got the power puff their power puff girly versions of Whoever wrote that just for a minute, Melody, what, what are you on? Way. And now that song's making me feel that way. 
I'm having like an identity, no. Is it identity crisis? No, what's the other word? When you realize that you exist. What's it called? Existential crisis. That's what I'm having right now. That's what that song has induced. Oh my God, it was so good. I love that TikTok, 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 all throughout and like that, oh, oh, oh. That sort of sound as well. That was stunning. That might be my favorite one. Oh no. I know, so I think the first thing that dropped was a teaser. It said ASAP teaser. I don't watch it. I don't watch any teasers, but I'm assuming the ASAP teaser was the teaser for the MV that's going to drop for ASAP. Interesting how that was the first one to drop and the ASAP MV is going to be the last one to drop. But I'm really, really curious now what the visuals are going to be for that song because that was magical. I've got nothing else left to say. I in love new jeans man let me know which track is your favorite i'll see you next week for the asap mv and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you have subscribed i love you i love you wanna follow me on instagram guys gonna follow me on twitter and goodbye oh